It is 1127. Oh no. I'm still drinking coffee. It ain't helping none. I need some supercharged coffee. An 85 miler, 86 miler. Took a little bit out of us, but we're gearing up and start moving though. There is no finish line. I'm gonna run. We got 30 miles today. You sure you don't want me to run with you today? <laughs> I don't know, I might have to tag you in. Call up to the big leagues. Call up to the big leagues. You can wear my shoes, Rob. Wear your shoes? I brought shoes. Oh, flip flops. Oh, yeah, run with your flip flops. I'm sitting here staring at my running shoes. Today's however many miles, I'm not saying, because <laughs> I don't know how many we're going to get, but we're going to get over 20 miles today. It's dedicated to the amazing Ginger Stream the Dream. Living proof where Malcolm. About to go in here and pay our campsite because we got marked as trespassing and remaining after hours last night. Showed up about, what was it, 11 o'clock? Yeah. It's pretty late. Currently, we don't actually have the, the pre register, the, um, the self registration out there because we are uh, pretty much almost full every day. We're going to be starting to get that way. So we don't have that out there currently because of that. Oh. We're, we're open pretty late anyway, so we must have just got here. We got here really late. Yeah, my husband and I are uh, biking and running along the Pacific coast. Well, we're uh, not trespassers anymore. <laughs> we're allowed to be here. And I messed up letting us in. God said it, believe it. Blessed are those who hear the teaching of God and obey it. Luke 11:28. Right outside Warrington, heading down to Arch Cape, look us up on the map, I'll put 24 miles in today. Y'all give us a little grace, or give us that, what is it, a give us that 100. Woo! I don't know, they see a camera, man, and they go, mm -hmm. that's cool though. Break the chains, y'all. Breaking them bondages. All in the name of Jesus. Is that the ocean you've been looking for? That's the ocean That's, we've been looking for. I see they're liking the pictures we've seen on Pinterest. Oh, yeah. Pinterest? You seem like a Pinterest kind of guy. Man. 17 miles today. A little short of what we said we were going to do, but taking some of these views. Can't price up this kind of stuff. No. Nope. We're making up for it Friday on my birthday, anyways. Friday morning, we're going to start on my birthday. June 28th, we 33 years old, 33 years young. That's right, baby. And uh, going to bike 250 plus miles. At least 250. Heck of a birthday present. Yeah. Stay hard. Get that camera out of here. Dang. Whatever. We got almost 17 miles in the books. Good books. dinner. Get out of the road. Police, dang. <laughs> <laughs> quit, quit now. Well, they probably thought we're. The tsunami evacuation map. This is where we're at, y'all. You were here. This is where Caleb's taking us off the freaking mountain. What brings you to the Portland area? We're, uh, we're running and biking from the Canadian border to the Mexican border. Last year, we, um, I ran from Cherokee, North Carolina to Tahlequah, Oklahoma. Challenging myself, pushing my body, honoring my body. You know, it's a temple and, and for so long I didn't do that. And so we're just always you know, looking for new physical and challenges and endeavors to go on. And so last year's the Trail of Tears, this year's it's the Pacific Coast Highway. And, and this was one of the places that we felt like we needed to connect with. 
So if I want to listen to your podcast, how can I find it? It's a uh, NC Raw podcast on Facebook, Instagram, um, any podcast app. People that watch the things that we're doing and, and they truly become inspired, you know, and they feel like they're part of our journey. Each day they're watching for our posts, they're watching for our video. And Saturday, June 22nd is when we started. Yes. Yeah, so um, and any idea how long it's going to take you to get down there? Uh, we're hoping by July 16th we'll finish in, in Tecate. We want to finish this pretty quick. We want to really push ourselves and uh, put our bodies through as much as we can, you know, and just really uh, cool. push push the limits mm -hmm. on this trip. My birthday is June 28th, so tomorrow's my birthday, my 33rd birthday. And uh, I finished my Trail of Tears run last year, this time. And uh, so tomorrow for my birthday present to myself, I want to bike 250 miles. So we'll uh, hopefully it'll get us there a little bit quicker. Um, like I said, we're just constantly doing things outside of our comfort zones and uh, seeing what we're truly capable of, mind, body, and spirit. Getting better was totally out of your comfort zone, I would say, mm -hmm. right? It was. Change <laughs> is scary. I mean, there's times that we thought, none of us thought that we would be here today. You know, a lot of times, I'm, I guarantee there was a day in, when we were struggling that we, we probably thought we were going to die to using drugs. And so just to be out here doing this and pushing ourselves like this is such a blessing in itself. You know, uh, being able to learn so much about yourself and, and truly rediscover yourself on the inside. Two different people coming with two different pathways to recovery, two different histories, two different walks of life. Uh, we teamed up and we named the show NC Raw, North Carolina Recovery Always. Where we bring people in and talk to them about their pathway to recovery or how they define their recovery. Maybe 20 shows when he did his Oklahoma run last year. Mm -hmm. We just kind of like, it's a real casual, like laid back conversation. When he came back, he was all excited. Like, what's he going to do next? And we got to talking on air like, well, what, what would the next trip look like? What would we do next? What would it look like if we took the show on the road? And so that's how we ended up here. That's why we're doing this now. We just kind of like worked that through on the air and kind of like the idea kind of came to life mm -hmm. on that podcast. And here we are, you know, a year later doing and, it. And you found a new purpose. Yeah, absolutely. You have no idea. And you, yeah, I can see it in yeah. your eyes. Oh, you have no you idea. light up. To see it like come to life with this team that we have, it's just been an amazing experience. Yeah, I'm Riley Nelson. I graduated from the recovery high school in the movie Generation Found. I worked um, at an alternative peer group and I started the first one in Oregon with Pam Pierce. Yep, and I am Pam Pierce, one of the co-founders of Harmony Academy, the first recovery high school in the state of Oregon, and uh, also opening with Riley and a few other people the first alternative peer group, Family Inspired Recovery. Shout out to uh, Spiritual Adrenaline, our official sponsor of the Pacific Coast Highway Recovery Tour, and Tom Shanahan. Uh, we appreciate you following our journey. We just finished up an amazing podcast here with uh, Pam and Riley. Um, they're um, instrumental in opening up the re first recovery high school in the state of Oregon. So thank you guys for the work that you're doing. Amazing. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Yep. Yeah, so we uh, just continue to follow our journey, and uh, we'll be sharing more with you here later. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Well, I really encourage you guys to check out the podcast that we just done with them. I encourage you guys to go and check out Thomas Shanahan's book, Spiritual adrenaline, a lifestyle plan to nourish and strengthen your recovery. It can be found on Amazon and Barnes & Noble's.